The T-Flex coin dispenser is fast, accurate, and reliable, providing an increase in speed of service, improved operational efficiency, greater customer satisfaction, and years of trouble-free operation. The canister is the removable and refillable component of the Telequip coin dispenser manufactured by Crane Payment Solutions. The canister has built-in handles and a removable cover, as well as calibration strips that determine the approximate value of the coins in the canister. The U.S. canister has two columns of quarters, two columns of dimes, one column of nickels, and three columns of pennies. When three rolls of coin are placed in each column, the canister holds $100.50. Due to the unique Telequip Even Depletion feature, a filled canister can last for approximately 200 cash transactions. Step 1. Removing the canister. Begin by turning the coin dispenser off. Remove the canister from the coin dispenser base. Fold the canister handle back and set it to the incline position. Lay it on a flat surface for easy and efficient loading. Step 2. Removing the canister cover. Using your thumbs, press down on both latch pads at the bottom corners of the cover and slide the cover upward. Step 3A. Snip and zip paper rolls. Take each roll of coin and snip both ends of the roll where the paper fold meets the crimp area. Step 3B. Snip and zip plastic rolls. If the coins are rolled in plastic, snip the ends and slide the roll into the canister. Then continue to slice the plastic lengthwise. To make this task easier, Crane Payment Solutions offers a roll cutter. Step 4. Inserting the roll. Peel back both roll edges and slide the roll of coin into the proper coin column. Step 5. Remove the wrapper. Grasp the torn edges of the paper or plastic at each end of the roll and pull the wrapper away, ensuring there is no debris left behind. Please note, a coin column cannot be left empty. Step 6. Loading loose coin. Begin by sorting coin by denomination, pennies, nickels, etc. Take a handful of coins, let's say quarters, between your thumb and forefinger. Insert the stack at an angle into the correct coin column. Slide the stack to the bottom and repeat until the column is full. Ensure all coins in the column are laying flat. Always be sure the canister is free of debris. Move on and fill the next column until all columns are filled. A canister fully loaded with loose coin will hold $111.42. Again, please note, a coin column cannot be left empty. Step 7. Replace cover. Replace the cover by sliding it into the grooves on the side until it clicks into place. You may have a top fill canister with holes across the top that allow you to replenish coin as you receive it. Or the cashier can fill it from the cash drawer during idle time. This can extend the time between refills. However, the top fill method is intended for the occasional addition of loose coin and is not intended for quickly loading an empty canister. By following these procedures, a cashier or manager should be able to load the canister in under three minutes after initial training. In time, you will begin to handle the filled canister as an extension of the cash drawer, making your cash room practices faster and more efficient. Reading Calibration Strips The calibration strips are located at the back of each column of the canister. These strips are provided as a guideline for your convenience in determining the approximate value of coin remaining in each coin column. Coins wear and may become bent with time which can affect the value represented by the calibration strips by a small amount. The proper coin level is determined by reading the first fully visible number exposed above the coin stack. Low coin alarm. Based on your configuration, the T-Flex may sound an alarm when a column is running low on coin. 
when the alarm sounds. This does not indicate that your equipment is damaged, but is designed to alert you to low coin volumes. After the alarm sounds, you generally have three more transactions before the machine will stop dispensing coin. To silence the alarm, turn the power switch to the off position. Refill the canister or remove it and replace it with a filled canister. Then turn the power back on. We hope you have found this video to be helpful and informative. For further information, please visit our website at www.telequip.com.